What's going on people, it's your boy Fezzer here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm back with another Modern Warfare 3 Zombies guide for you guys and in today's guide, I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate any item within Modern Warfare 3 Zombies very easily. You guys are going to be able to do this solo or with a team, pretty much however you like. And this is also really overpowered. This glitch is going to allow you guys to get unlimited acquisitions, things like flawless crystals, legendary aether tools, dog bones. It's also going to allow you to get unlimited essence, depending on how much money you put in your tombstone. This method is also going going to allow you to get an unlimited aether blade as long as you use your aether blade one time and you're also going to be able to duplicate schematics so it's pretty much overpowered you guys can use this method for pretty much anything that you guys want to do and it's really easy to do so first things first you guys are going to want to bring in all the items that you're going to want to duplicate and make sure you have tombstone perk active and then pretty much just go down by the zombies anywhere around the map where you want your tombstone to be once you die by the zombies pretty much just give up wait till the plea timer gets to 16 seconds just to be safe and then leave the game so essentially you've gone in game with all the stuff that you want to duplicate you've drank your tombstone perk so that it's active you've gone down by the zombies and then you leave game it's that simple as you guys can see when we come back in game we have nothing but that's all right because we're going to go back and get everything in just a minute now at this point if you guys didn't put a large backpack in your tombstone switch to a operator that has a large backpack and also if you have an aether blade case this is going to be the time when you want to put it in your backpack ready to go in game because you're going to be able to use use it one time and have it forever just from this next game so once you guys have got that set up you pretty much want to load into the next game go back to where you died you guys will see your tombstone there and everything you died with in that first initial game is obviously going to be in your tombstone now at this point you guys pretty much want to take everything out of your tombstone and make sure that the tombstone breaks if the tombstone doesn't break this is not going to work so as you guys can see i took all the items and the tombstone broke it's really important make sure you guys do that so essentially that's stage one complete now we're going to move on to stage two which is actually duplicating the items so in order to do this we need to leave the game with the items but we can only do this through a mission exfil because we need to cut out the game or disconnect our game when we're doing it for our tombstone to stick and for the items to duplicate. It's really important for you guys to remember that if you go to a normal exfil and exfil normally, this won't work and you won't duplicate your items. You will simply lose the items. So as I said, we're heading to a mission exfil. Now the one that I use is the act one extraction mission. That one works every single time and it works perfectly. You guys can use the act four portal but I have had a lot of people coming back to me saying that the Act 4 portal sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Some people say that they have to disconnect when they're going through the portal. Some people say they have to disconnect when it's the black screen. So if you guys want to know for sure that it's going to work, just do the Act 1 extraction mission like I'm doing and it's going to work. So make sure everything's in your bag, call in the chopper, go in the chopper. And then when you guys see this black screen that you guys can see on screen right now, that's when you want to disconnect your game. So if you're on a PC, you're going to want to hit Alt F4 and it's going to close down the game straight away. If you're on PlayStation or Xbox, you guys are going to want to press your dashboard button or whatever it is and close the application when it's on that black screen. It's really important that you do it when it's on that black screen and that black screen actually stays up for about 10 seconds. So it does actually give you a little bit of grace if you guys are off on timing. Now, once you guys have closed down your game, you don't have to load up the game instantly. If you need to go out or whatever, you need to do that's fine it will be there when you come back but if you guys are playing then just load up your game straight away and then when you get back in game as you guys will see in just a moment you guys will have all of the items that you exfilled with right there in your backpack now sometimes if you had odd items like you guys can see here i have the self revive just break that item because when you go back in next game it's not going to spawn in with you it's just going to disappear if you put it in your stash you're just going to be wasting stash space so you might as well just break the item but as you guys can see everything else we pretty much x filled with and then at this point you're just going to want to go ahead and put them all in your stash so if you guys can see i have about 46 or 47 items in my stash and i'm just going to overwrite all of these rewards that i brought out that game with my purchase items and my rewards that's currently in my locker and then i'm going to swap them out and then that's going to allow me to put all of those items in in my stash allowing me to have way more than 10 stash slots and as you guys can see i also have the ray gun plans which i was able to exfil with and also my aether blade now my aether blade and any schematic that you guys exfil with will stick when you go back in game so in the next game when we load in we will still have those ray gun plans there and we will still have our aether blade 
So just to show you guys that this works every single time, we've loaded into another game, we've changed the operator because we do have that large backpack in our tombstone. So I want to go through all of my operators and make sure that they do have that large backpack. But as you guys can see, we spawn in with the two ray gun plans that we left with last game and we also spawn in with our Aether Blade. So you guys can go ahead and do this every single game and you guys already can see that I have another two ray gun plans in my tombstone from last game so now i have four different ray gun plans that i can drop out to four different people so you can pretty much keep on doing this over and over again and have a full backpack of ray gun plans just from one ray gun or whatever schematic it is so if you guys are trying to stack up on schematics or give them out this is a good method to do so and that's pretty much it guys you guys can rinse and repeat this every single game to keep on duplicating your items anytime you want to make a new tombstone you just have to go through the method again and it's literally that simple the only times you're ever going to lose it is if you die or if the game lags out or disconnects and that's when you will lose the tombstone and lose everything that was in there but if you have been duplicating items over and over again you should be pretty much stacked up and then you can just go ahead go in game and make a new tombstone and start fresh pretty simple to do let me know your thoughts and opinions about that in the comment section below so in the second part of this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to max out any wonder weapon in modern warfare 3 zombies past its intended damage output so you guys are going to be able to do this method and it's going to make the wonder weapon that you're using 10 times stronger so in order to do this all you guys are going to need to make sure you have is obviously the wonder weapon that you want to do it with at hand you're going to need a juggernaut kill streak a legendary a for tool and then enough money to triple pack a punch or have a triple pack a punch tool now in order to make this work you need to make sure that the wonder weapon that you're doing this with is in the second weapon slot in your backpack so you need to make sure it's the second weapon not the first weapon then you're going to want to throw and call in the juggernaut kill streak once that's coming in you're going to want to drop both of the weapons that you was holding so whatever wonder weapon that you was holding in your second slot and then whatever gun you was holding in your first slot you're going to want to pick up the juggernaut kill streak with your fists out and then once the juggernaut kill streak has finished as you guys can see on screen whatever gun was in the second slot so we did have the wonder weapon in our second slot that will be duplicated and it will just be in your hands it will have no ammo and it will have no rarity at this point you guys can put the legendary a for tool on it and then that is how you're going to be able to supercharge and max out the weapon from there you guys can go ahead and put a triple pack a punch tool on it or go to the pack a punch machine and triple pack a punch it there and then from there this is just absolutely insane as you guys can see i'm just one tapping two tapping everything even mega abominations are pretty easy to kill it's just crazy try this out with any wonder weapon that you guys want to but i would highly suggest trying it out on the wonder wolf and also the vr11 the ray gun i did try it out on it wasn't that powerful and i also did try it out on the scorcher and the scorcher was pretty good as well but i definitely think that the wonder wolf and the vr11 are the best when you do this but it is quite fun definitely test it out it makes these pretty much really fun to use really easy to grind out the tier 3 zones and stuff like that and you guys can go ahead and get rare schematics really easy with this method obviously it is a little bit to set up because you do need a legendary a for tool the wonder weapon a juggernaut but it is a lot of fun and if you guys have a tombstone that's got unlimited essence i'm pretty sure you guys will be able to do this very easily so let me know your thoughts and opinions about both of these guides in the comment section below if they were helpful in any shape way form don't forget to like comment share and subscribe anyways that's it for me it's been your boy furs i'm out peace